Welcome to the Edupedia World, Virtual World Free Education. My name is Suraya Sayed, Microsoft Certified Trainer. Whenever you have too much cell content to be displayed in a single cell and you don't want the text to spill over into adjacent cells, Text Control allows you to control the way Excel presents information in a cell. There are three types of text control. You may decide to merge wrap the text or shrink to fit the cell rather than resizing a column. Merging allows you to combine a cell with adjacent empty cells to create one large cell. Wrap text wraps the contents of a cell across several lines. If it is larger than the column width, it increases the height of the cell as well. Shrink to fit. Shrink the text so it fits into the cell. The more text in the cell, the smaller it will appear in the cell. Here is an example. In cell B6, there is too much text displayed and the text spill over into C6 and G6 but actually C6 and D6 are empty you can know from the formula bar and I don't want to increase the width of column B we can combine cells from B6 for example to I6 to create one large cell. The simplest method is to choose merge and center control on the ribbon. Select the cells that you want to merge and then click the merge and center button. The text will relocate it to be in the middle of these cells. Here is another example in which we will combine cells from A1 to F1. It is not necessary condition to have too much content in the cell to use merge. In this example I have only two small words and it will be better if it is centered above its data table. Click merge and center. To undo this merge you can unmerge cells We also can cancel the merge by clicking on the same button for merge and center because it is an on-off button. It works in a manner of one click to merge and another click to cancel. Or you can do the same work by clicking the dialog box launcher from the Format cells dialog box under text control check merge cells in this case cells will be merged but text will not be centered there are additional options for merging cells the merge and center control contains a drop down list with these additional options like merge across. When a multiple row range is selected, the command create multiple merged large cells while keeping each row separate. Select cells range from B1 to I5, click merge across. Now each row is merged separately. Then I will center align these ranges. Also Excel enables you to merge cells vertically. 
When you merge cells, you don't combine the content of cells. That means, if the adjacent cells contain data, it will be lost, keeping only the upper left cell's content. As we can see in this example, a warning message appears, and we lose all data except the company name. Now, let's talk about wrapping text. Wrapping cell content means to force text to appear on multiple lines in a cell, as we see here. When text exceeds a column width, it is possible to manually or automatically wrap the text. Wrapping the text will automatically modify a cell's row height, allowing cell contents to be displayed on multiple lines. To automatically wrap text, select the cells you wish to wrap. Select the wrap text command on the home tab. Data in the cell will wrap to fit the column width. When you change the column width, data wrapping adjusts automatically. Click the wrap text command again to unwrap the text. Or you can do the same work on the format cells dialog box on the alignment tab. Under text control, select the wrap text checkbox and then click OK. To manually wrap text, place your cursor where you want the line to break, inside the cell, and press ALT plus the ENTER key. The last option under alignment is shrink to fit directly below wrap text. Shrink to fit will automatically reduce the font size until text fits in a cell. We can see that the font in the selected cells is now smaller. And if we add more text to a cell, the text will automatically shrink as needed, whenever we try to narrow the width of the cell. However, shrink to fit will quickly reduce long text to an unreadable small size. For this reason, shrink to fit is most useful in tightly layouts, where wrapping text is not an option. Thank you for watching Edupedia World Videos. See you at the next video.